Hello. Hey, Vito. It's Eddie. Hey, Eddie. What's up? I need you to come over to Joe's right now. <sighs> yeah. Oh, okay. All right. What's happening? I, I can't tell you over the phone. All right. I'll be right there. What would you like, sir? Full tank? Full tank, please. Fill her up. You got it. Sorry about the prices, but gas keeps going up. It's tough times all around, you know? Here you go, sir. Thank you. Remember, sir, we got the cheapest gas in the city.
ECLA, Empire Bay's with a baseball bat and they looked like they were scared till morning, yesterday. Fellas. Oh, hey, good morning, Vito. Marty, what are you doing here? Joe said you needed help. And since I did good with the greasers, he said he'd take me along again. Take you along again for what exactly? They're waiting for you. Yeah, well, uh, I'll, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> yeah, that's my man, Vito. <laughs> morning, Mr. Falcone. Hi, Vito. Take a seat. Hey, guys. <sighs> so what's happening? I heard how you got rid of Luca, Vito. Good job. Thanks to you, we now have proof that Clemente was behind the attack on our guys. We couldn't do anything to him openly till now. He just cut his own throat. He kidnapped and tortured our guys, and that means war. Anything we do now, I'm gonna be able to justify before the Commission. Alberto knows this, so he's gonna act quickly and try and come after us first. So we're gonna take out Clemente? Exactly. Turns out Clemente called a big meeting in the Empire Arms Hotel today. This is our best chance to get rid of him and his top guys. Oh, sure, yeah. We'll just waltz right in there and kill a few dozen heavily armed men in broad daylight in the nicest hotel in town. Is that about right? Don't worry. I got a plan. Shit! Joe, put that thing away. Eddie, don't worry. It's safe. I just gotta For press Christ's this. For sake, put it away now! Okay, What's the matter with okay. You? You're such a chicken shit. Okay, okay, so now we're gonna waltz right in and blow up the nicest hotel in town. Isn't that overkill? Don't worry, this thing ain't that powerful. It won't blow up the whole building, but everybody in the room where it goes off is dead meat. How are we gonna know when to detonate it? We'll use a window washing platform. We'll almost be able to watch it explode. Since when are you the smart one? Okay, fellas, I'm counting on you. If all goes well, I'll have something nice for you. When it's over, call Eddie at this number. Oh, by the way, I closed the bar today, just in case Alberto tried something. Hey, good luck, fellas. Hey, what about that kid in the hallway? You mean Marty? Uh, he ain't part of the organization, so he had to wait outside. I mean, why is he here at all? Why do you think? He's going with us because we need a getaway driver and somebody to cover our asses. What do you got against him anyway? i known him since he was a little kid, and he saved my ass with them greases. Yeah, but we're not fighting a bunch of drunk dirtbags this time. We're about to take out the most powerful family in this city, and you're bringing a kid. And how old were you when you started doing this shit? You're talking like you're some old fart. Look, Vito, he's gonna wait in the car outside and drive us away. That's it. He ain't even gonna know what we're doing there. He's a great driver, and that's exactly what we need on this one. Okay, Joe, whatever. But I'm telling you right now, this is a bad idea. Hey, Joe. So, uh, what kind of job is it? The kind you don't need to know about. Capiche? Oh, okay. But hey, if you need it, I got my piece. Right here. Yeah, all right, slow down, Billy the Kid, all right? It's not gonna be necessary. Let's just go. I'll drive. Just don't go busting it up on the way there. This is our getaway car. Plus, I'm pretty sure that explosives and car crashes don't go together. Explosives? <laughs> yeah, for a little fireworks show. Forget you heard that. We're going to the Empire Arms Hotel. Park in the underground parking lot and use the back entrance. So, uh, 
fellas. Come on, tell me. What's going down at the hotel, huh? Huh, come on! Well, what are you writing a book? I already told you everything you need to know. Hey, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just curious, you know? All this secrecy. Marty, all this secrecy is important. The less you know, the better off you are. And if you keep asking questions, I'm just gonna have to find somebody else to drive us next time. Okay, okay. No more questions. Sure. the hotel sky high, huh? Marty! Sorry, sorry. One more word out of you. All right, sorry. Not another word. Cross my heart. I'm gonna tell you how it's gonna be. All right, here's the hotel. The entrance to the garage is on the other side. Park in there. And hey, we gotta leave all our guns in the car. The last thing we need is one of Clementi's goons searching us and finding them. Alright, Vito and me, you'll go in and do what needs to be done. You wait for us here. When you hear a big boom, start the car up, because you're going to need to get the hell out of here pronto. And you won't need that gun unless somebody follows us, but that shouldn't happen. Okay, okay, I got you, Joe. Clemente rented the entire 18th floor, the third one from the top. There's a couple of suites and conference rooms up there, and guards. So how are we going to get up there? Round the back, through the laundry room. What, you want to wash your shorts before we do this? Wise ass. The meeting hasn't started yet. We'll grab some hotel worker uniforms, then we'll go do a little cleaning upstairs. Seriously? When did you become the smart one? Fuck off. There's supposed to be a guy waiting for us inside with the uniforms. Let's go. And we don't want to make a ruckus before Clemente gets here, so don't go doing nothing stupid. <laughs> Shouldn't I be telling you that? Stay here. Ah, uh, always a fucking bridesmaid. Ah, shit. It's closed. The idiot was supposed to leave it open for us. Now we gotta wait and hope that asshole shows up. Fuck! Can't we just get in some other way? You could try, but I'm gonna wait here for a while, just in case Numbnut shows up. That lazy piece of shit. Pardon me, sir. Are you a guest at the hotel? Well, where is he? Uh, he's always on... Yeah. 